Halo's story is a long, winding one. And with a lot of new players coming back to the franchise, a lot of people have been asking, what's the best way to catch up with the story of Halo? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to do just that. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here. Welcome to the channel to keep you updated with everything going on with Halo. Halo Infinite's campaign is releasing in just a few weeks. The game just went gold so they have locked down exactly what they need. We've been seeing some campaign videos going up from your favorite content creators as well. So you're probably wondering, okay, what do I need to know going into Halo Infinite? Because even though the game is designed as a good starting off point, there are some necessary things you need to know before going into the campaign. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to go about getting caught up with the story of Halo. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button that really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that youtube algorithm if you want to stay updated with everything going on with halo as we ramp up to the official release of halo infinite we'll make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so tip number one to get all caught up with the story of halo infinite is well obviously to play the games Playing the games provides you the full context when it comes to character interactions you'll see within Halo Infinite. And also honestly will help you better out with like the discussions within the community of figuring out how Halo's gameplay has evolved over the decades. Though with each campaign being about six to eight hours in length and you know we only have a few weeks left and there are nine Halo games with good campaigns tied to them, well, you know, that's quite a lot of time to dig into. Which brings up my alternative way of catching up with the Halo campaign story is by watching these various YouTube movies. I have them listed in the description down below of all the best movie versions of each Halo game, lasting about an hour to two hours, mostly of cutscenes with some gameplay mixed in as well for continuity. Yes, you could just go and watch the campaign cutscenes as well, but without the gameplay connecting the cutscenes together, you lose a little bit of context about why things are happening. So I would say this is probably the most time effective way to get caught up with the story of Halo's franchise is by watching these YouTube movies. Okay then, so what's the best order to go about watching all these? Because there's two different ways you can go about doing it. You can do a chronological order, which is in universe, how the events happen, or you can do it by release order, which most of the community experienced. The benefits of watching and playing in chronological order for these games is they have a much more fluid narrative, but some of the cons would be like some inconsistent experiences where you have some features added and some features taken away, especially jumping from like Halo Reach to CE. Yeah. That's a pretty big difference. There's also various different mechanics like bloom sprints, abilities, uh, like the snappiness of gameplay and things like that. So you don't really get a chance to experience the evolution of the gameplay of Halo throughout the years. You only really get a chance to experience the story. But if you wanted to play in chronological order, the best way to go about doing it is playing Halo Wars 1, which is an RTS game, then playing Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, then Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5, then finishing off with Halo Wars 2 where the Banish are introduced in. Or you can play the games or watch the cutscenes in release order, which would be Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Wars, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5, then Halo Wars 2. And playing in release order gives you some benefits and there's some cons to it as well. With the benefits being the experience that the game has, how the community has experienced it as well. So you can like jump in with those conversations within the community if you want to jump in to the Halo experience along with all the fans. Be able to take part of that online discussion that's never ending about Halo, about classic versus modern Halo, sprint, no sprint, art style differences and things like that. You can really see the gameplay evolution as well to really see how Bungie did their Halo games, how 343 has done their Halo games. And now Halo Infinite's really doing a great job of kind of blending the two together. I will say it's a less jarring experience well between each game because especially from CE to Halo 3 to even a little bit of Reach, I felt like there was an evolution of gameplay with more stuff added, snappier gameplay as mechanics as well. Because like I said, it'd be pretty difficult to go from Halo Reach then to go to Combat Evolved. Two very different feels when it comes to playing those games. Though the only issue being that the narrative isn't exactly in in chronological order so it can feel a little jumpy at times but we go over here then we're going over this way then we're going back this way kind of thing so those are the most like comprehensive ways to experience the halo story but what if we just want like 10 minutes what if you don't have even time to play the games well i got some youtube videos for you to check out as well one we have same token who does the entire history of halo it does an absolute comprehensive 35 minute long deep dive into the entire story of halo way before the games even happened the four our human conflict wars and things like that. A really great watch, I definitely would suggest that one. This act of kindness was mistaken as aggression by the foreigners, especially by the Didact, 
who was the supreme commander of the Forerunner military, and he was evil because he had a British accent. He believed the humans unworthy of obtaining the mantle of responsibility. This is the obligation of the most evolved life forms to act as caretakers of lesser life. Another one would be Halo Cannon with this The Weapon video. As the weapons can be a major component and character within Halo Infinite, Halo Cannon does his best job with the limited knowledge that he has at the moment of creating the video, how the weapon is kind of like a young sister of Cortana in a way. The contents of the three cryobins, however, should be evident at this point. The Flash cloned brains of Dr. Halsey. One of these brains would become the seed for the new AI that premiered in the recent E3 footage. However, that is not the end of the story. Next, we have a video from Evade, which does the entire story of Master Chief. If you just care about the main character, well, this is the video you're going to want to watch. This video does a great job of putting context to who the Master Chief is and what he's gone through. So when you experience these moments within Halo Infinite's campaign, well, you'll understand why Chief does and feels the things that he does. Upon arriving, this was when John learned his service tag, a precursor to the legend in the making. Stitched onto his new suit and clothes was the tag John117. You can't have your amazing heroes like Master Chief without your amazing villains, aka The Banished, and Hidden Xperia does a great video of doing the entire history of The Banished. I highly suggest watching this one because, well, Hidden Xperia does great videos, as well as The Banished being a brand new faction within Halo's universe, which will feel very familiar to the Covenant, but is very much not the Covenant at the same time. This video does a great job of explaining why these badass monkeys are going to be quite the pain in your side during the campaign of Halo Infinite. So as promised, let's start from the top. Why did Atriox splinter off from the Covenant and create the Banished in the first place? Well, it's quite a depressing story, quite honestly. And that's the best way to get caught up with Halo's story before the release of Halo Infinite. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist where here I got linked to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.